What is one thing everyone should put in their car? Headlamp. Better than a flashlight when things go awry, like changing a tire. Also, an actual map. Nothing like losing service battery at the wrong time. Jumper cables. Even better, get a battery pack with cables on it. This way you can jump your own car even if nobody is around to help. First aid kit. Basic tools. Advanced tools. I always kept a blanket for random picnics or snuggle time. Snuggle time. A hug. A flashlight. A Maglite brand flashlight. They can be used to break your window if needed. Upon research they cannot break the glass but they sell a cap to put on it that can. There were old advertisements saying they could break glass. A fire extinguisher. I don't want to ever have to see someone burn to death trapped in their car. Someone with a fire extinguisher saved my boyfriend's truck from burning down. There was a fire under the hood and he pulled over and helped us get the flames under control till the fire department got there. Triple A card has saved me in so many jams. Keep it with you and even if you're the passenger in someone else's car they'll still come help you. A change of clothes. Agreed. It's a savior when you spill something on yourself and need to look presentable for a beating or something. For girls I'd recommend a nice pair of flats too. If your car breaks down you don't really want to be walking a few miles in heels to get help. Glass breaker. Seatbelt cutter. Phone charger and car adapter. More importantly, a USB car adapter. Every phone charges over USB nowadays. If you have a USB adapter and cable, you can charge any modern phone. Except iPhones, of course. Because Apple. One thing that most people think they have in their car but don't is a functional spare tire. I can't remember all the times I've heard people say they got a flat only to find out their spare was also flat. I've even pulled over to help some people change their tire but couldn't because their spare was also flat. I did help one guy take his flat spare to town so he could put air in it. I don't know how he got back to his car. I can only be so nice. Check your spares. Sunglasses. This should be higher. Having sunglasses could prevent serious accidents. It really could. Also nice to have during those long drives when passengers are getting sun in eyes as well. Toilet paper paper towels. Heck. Bring them both. Ice scraper. A second. Smaller car to use in case of emergencies. Multi-tool. Meter. Extra napkins from restaurants. Grab a fistful of those things every time you go out. Don't stop until you can't close the glove box. Only then will you have enough when you need them. My wife reminded me, an old towel or two. Great for so many things. Hot after working out. Use it to wipe the sweat. Accidentally leave your windows down and it rained. Put it over the wet seat. So many uses. Oh, side note, if you leave your window cracked in the summer to keep your car from becoming an oven, crack open the passenger window. If it rains, you don't have a wet butt on the way home. If you forgot to put a towel in your car, and straws. Two reasons, you will inevitably get shorted a straw sometimes in the drive through No problem, grab one from the glove box. Second reason is for parents of toddlers. A straw is an emergency toy. When the kid is upset in the car and you've got no way to soothe them, give them a straw. It'll occupy them for about 10 minutes. Really nice when you're nearly home and frizzled from a long time in the car. The problem is, 6 straws will not buy you an hour. One straw, 10 minutes. Once they are bored with it, a second straw will get thrown in the floor. An aux cord for my firebook mixtape. Air pressure gauge. I keep my inaccurate air pressure gauge at all the gas stations. Gas? Thanks for the tip. My Tesla didn't have a gas tank though, so I just poured the gas into the back. An emergency kit. Water, a portable radio, a few books, candles, a blanket and a pillow. Dang son we don't need the whole Bear Grylls survival pack. Installing a trunk monkey. Never know when it may make your day. Super hot mixtapes. DJ Red Alert. I keep a custom kit in my truck. Flashlights, first aid, rope, towing cables, a flare, matches, and a frisbee. Also a jack if you don't have one. 
paper towels, a trash bag can be useful, and a bottle of water. Not one of those has gone unused. Headlight fluid. And blinker fluid. Cops will pull your butt over if you run out. A shovel. You never know when it will come in handy. Don't forget duct tape, garbage bags, gloves, and paper towels. Umbrella. Saved me so many times. From bullets. It. Literally fill your car to the brim with enough emergency supplies to make sure you can cut your seat belt if it's stuck. Put out a fire. Wipe off Big Mac secret sauce and to last a year if you drive onto a deserted island. Spare headlight, blinker and brake lights. Set off spare wipers. I was getting gas and someone pointed out that one of my lights was out. There was a cop across the parking lot so I pulled out a spare and fixed it. The cop followed me all the way home. I'm thinking that he was peak or he already started the paperwork or something. Bottled water and a white rag. Whoa it's been a year. I've been accidentally carrying a gallon of water in my trunk for quite some time now. Living in Arizona. This is probably one of my smarter lazy moments. Road maps and an atlas. You can't always depend on GPS or a decent signal. A dash cam just in case you get in an accident or have an encounter with the police. A sober driver. Now I got a great system for that. When I'm drunk I just sit in the passenger seat and lean over to drive. That way, if I get pulled over, I just act confused and say I don't know officer. My friend just got out and ran away. Probably because he was drunk. Redness relief eye drops. Work gloves, blanket, and basic tools. Sunscreen. I've already got some at home and I spend a decent amount of time outside and traveling. Why not put it in the one place you will never forget to bring it when you go out? Note be careful when opening said sunscreen on a hot day. It's likely to build pressure and shoot out at you. On a similar note, deodorant to left in cars melt and can do the same thing. Not easy to get out of your pants on the go. Change doors to deodorant. Fuzzy dice. Can confirm. Gives me 10 extra horsepower. Pen and notepad. That is literally the first thing I have seen in this thread that is useful advice. You never know when you need to write something down in the car. Be it just a I'm back in 5 minutes sign. Chewing gum. Your car's manual along with an old cell phone that is fully charged to use in emergencies. Replace old phone with a 12 volt charger for your current phone. Your old phone battery will drain after a few weeks months. Why bother? Even if your old phone holds a charge, it's still a silly idea. Air fresheners. No one wants to smell a old car smell mixed with sweat and dirt. After working for over a year at a car wash I couldn't agree more with you. The things I've smelled I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. A blanket. Most exposure deaths occur because a person is just going to the store and isn't dressed for the cold. They then break down and have no heat in the car, and that shirt won't cut it. I call bulls. I guarantee more homeless and or inebriated die from exposure than people just going to the store. That being said, I agree blankets come in handy more often than you'd think. A center punch. Could save your life if your car ever ends up sinking in a body of water. It is a small device, the size of a 40 calorie bullet. Push the point at the center of the side window, will shatter in less than a second. My sister ended upside down in a river in her car, but luckily before power windows, so she cranked the window down and swam out. I'll remember your tip, it's a good one. Extra deodorant, a small electric razor and a disposable razor. Can't tell ya how many times I run out of the house and forget to put on deodorant, or only when I look in my mirror I see I missed a spot shaving. A basic mechanics set 75-150 piece, besides basic car maintenance and repair on the spot, can help you out when you least expect it. For instance was stuck in an area of no cell service on my family's property 2 hours away from home and my car couldn't reverse back onto the road. We have large horse gates and a turnaround that spits out on more level ground but I had no key to get through. Luckily I had that basic set and I dismantled the gate at the hinges lifted it and set it aside and drove through to the other side where I got out. Never know when it may help. I thought your story was going to be a... amazing. For example, I dismantled the gearbox on the side of the road with my $15 toolkit to fix the broken dog arm. A hatchet. 
hammer or other bludgeon. It's true that everything in Australia is trying to kill you, even the kangaroos. However, they don't always succeed in their kamikaze attacks and so are left kicking around in agony. I once hit a wallaby. It was horribly injured, but not dead. One of my biggest regrets that I couldn't end it quickly, so I just sat with him and tried to calm him down. Since then, I've kept something in the car for such an occasion. Here's Bob Ross holding a baby raccoon to brighten your day. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and comment. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.